So as some of y'all might know, the YSL case is still going on. YSL is going through a tough time with Gunna basically literally snitching, saying yes ma'am to YSL being a gang. And Young Thug getting handed perks in court. <laughs> you know, it just continuously gets worse. It gets worse and worse and worse. Now a YSL member was allegedly tortured in jail by a rival gang member alleged to be a member of YFN. Is what, is, is what they're saying currently on Reddit. Is they're saying a YFN member tied up gagged and tortured a member of YSL this YFN member allegedly took not allegedly did it's on video took a blade and tried scraping a YSL tattoo off of the person being tortured don't believe me this is it right here now you see that YSL tattoo right there? That, that That's a tattoo right there. It says Y. You can't see the Y, but it says YSL. Now I'm not going to play the whole video because I don't want to get striked. But we got to talk about this. What have any of these guys gained from this entire incident? This is nothing but a fucking disaster for everybody involved. Gunna walks away with a destroyed career. Nobody wants to associate with him. Nobody wants to feature with him. Lil Baby unfollowed him. Uh, Bam Man Kev over there talking about, I want $5 million. Gunna's entire career has been destroyed because he chose to associate and align himself with street shit. And Gunna himself on multiple occasions came on camera and said, I'm a real street nigga. I'm a street nigga. He even told Charlemagne, I'm a street nigga. And look at where it got him. A demolished career. If Gunna had stayed square. If Gunna had stayed away from the street shit, Gunna's career would still be here today. It's the facts. We gotta, we gotta keep it real. If Gunna had never gotten involved with any of that street shit, his career would still be here. And he'd be able to take care of everyone else while YSL, Jeffrey, and them is locked up. But Gunna wanted to be involved in the street shit. He wanted to be connected to YSL. And what did it get him? Absolutely nothing. But a wrecked career. Gunna is going to have to come out with some of the biggest hits in hip-hop history to recover from this. And I don't think he will. I don't think he will. I, I, I don't believe he will. And then you look, at, you look at Young Thug. Thug, is it's over for him. It's over for him. There's so many people cooperating against Young Thug. Gunna cooperated against the entire gang. They asked, is YSL a gang? Yes, ma'am. Do you have knowledge of crimes committed by the gang known as YSL? Yes, ma'am. Do you agree that the gang YSL should end? Yes, ma'am. Then you got YSL Woody giving like three hours of test, but not even testimony, just interrogate free, not even an interrogation, just telling them everything for free. And y'all want to sit here and look at this shit and say free YSL. They're facing the consequences of their own actions. All of them. Every single one of them. This is what I don't understand about hip hop is y'all don't want to see accountability ever. Ever, 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 ever. But this torture video that we just saw, this torture video we just saw that's going on, this is a prime example of what they stood to gain from this YSL shit. Nothing. Young Thug, the moment he got big, he should have fell back. He should have fell back and said, you know what? It ain't worth it. I'm gonna grab all my guys, all my boys, and start relegating tasks to y'all. Okay, you're in charge of the clothing brand. You're in charge of organizing tour dates. You're in charge of this. You're in charge of that. Make sure everybody around you is eating legally. That way you don't got to have your homie getting tied up and gagged up and tortured inside a jail cell. That way your right hand man ain't sitting there in court saying yes ma'am and his whole career is compromised. That way you ain't sitting there in court fighting for your life and a nigga walk up to you and hand you drugs in court bro. All of this could have easily been avoided had Young Thug said, you know what? I've made it. I've arrived. It's time to let all of this go. Maybe this has to happen. Maybe this has to happen for the next generation of rappers who come from the streets to say, you know what? It ain't worth it. I'm going to leave this shit alone. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to move my ass from wherever city, whatever city I'm from to another state where my ops don't live, can't get to. I'm going to move over there, start over, start a new life, start over and, and, and pursue my career there away from the bullshit. That's the only solution. It's the only solution. You got dudes getting tortured in jail, getting tattoos scraped off of him, bro. This is a lifestyle we want niggas to live. 
this is a lifestyle rappers want to promote to the kids. But academics is the problem, right? Trap Lil Ross is the problem, right? I'm glad that people are seeing this shit. I'm not glad that it's happening, but I'm glad that young kids get to see this shit. To see that this gang shit ain't funny. It ain't cool, bro. You're in jail, gagged up, tied up, getting tortured. This is what's popping? This is, this is what we want the youth to look up to? I'm glad this shit is coming out. I'm glad the niggas is recording themselves doing this stupid shit. There's never been a better decade for young kids to realize the street shit ain't cool. We didn't see niggas die. We didn't see autopsy pictures. We didn't see niggas get recoed. We didn't see all sorts of L's befall the street rapper community. This is nothing but one big ass L. One big ass fucking loss for every single person involved. It's unbelievably unfortunate, but this is what's going on. And, and, and I'm glad that everybody gets to see this shit for what it is. They torturing in this man. They torturing this man in jail, scraping a ta trying to scrape a tattoo off of his skin. You can't make that. You couldn't make it up if you tried. You couldn't make it up if you tried. This is the unfortunate reality of the street shit. This is the unfortunate reality of what's going on. And they want y'all to pride. They want they want the youth to respect and revere the streets. When this is all they stand to gain from it. Niggas cutting, trying to trying to scrape a tattoo off your arm while gagging you with God knows what kind of rag. It might got blood on it, shit on it. They putting a rag in your mouth, tying you up, scraping, scraping the skin off of your arm. This is what's supposed to be cool. It's an evil world we live in. It's an evil world we live in. It's unbelievably unfortunate, but this is what's going on. This is what's going on. Look at this shit. He's trying to scrape the tattoo with a dull blade on this man's arm. Now, if he get infected and get and gotta lose his arm, now what? He get infected and he dies, now what? Come on, bro. Like this is what this is what's going on. And they want you to believe that this lifestyle is cool. So you can end up in jail tied up with a with a fucking rag of shit in your mouth and niggas scraping the skin off your arm with a dull blade that probably has all types of infectious bacteria in it. This is what's cool. This is what this is what they want y'all to this is what they want y'all to this is what they want the YouTube to crash out. This is what the rappers want us to fucking look up to. And it's like this is the outcome these niggas get. It's unfortunate. It's fucking unfortunate, but it's an evil fucking world we live in. And, and if you don't look at a video like that and realize that this lifestyle ain't shit and that you should stay away from it and just get to the money, I don't know what else to tell you, bro. This whole YSL case is just one big ass warning to everybody. Stay away from the street shit. Keep keep pursuing the bread. Keep pursuing the cash. Because going to prison for the rest of your life ain't worth it. It ain't cool. It ain't fly. It ain't none of that shit. It's fucking evil. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.